In 2021, we launched Arm Total Solutions for IoT to accelerate and simplify product design. It's a solutions-based approach made up of three key pillars, Arm Corestone, Arm Virtual Hardware, and Project Centauri. The reception has been phenomenal, but if the IoT is going to scale, we'll have to meet ever-increasing demands for higher performance, increased security, and even faster time to market. That's why we just added two new total solutions for IoT. It's why we've massively expanded the ARM virtual hardware library, and it's why we've made some big updates to Project Centaur. Our first new total solution is for voice recognition. It features the all new Corestone 310, which is our most advanced MCU subsystem. The Corestone 310 is based on our newest, fastest, and most secure Cortex M processor ever, the M85, which is perfect for all sorts of use cases like smart speakers, drones, and smart thermostats. Our other new total solution is for cloud native edge devices and is based on the Corestone 1000. It's our first ever Cortex A based total solution for IoT. It's performant, extremely power efficient, has been designed for security from the ground up. And thanks to Project Cassini, rich operating systems like Linux just work. Developers don't have to spend lots of time porting software. If you're building a smart camera, point of sale terminal, robot, or IoT gateway, the Corestone 1000 is for you. And what I love the most is what we've done with ARM Virtual Hardware. We have massively expanded the offering. ARM Virtual Hardware is available for the Corestone 310 and 1000, but we have gone way beyond that. We have also made ARM Virtual Hardware available for our entire Cortex-M product line, as well as third-party hardware from our partners. This means that ARM Virtual Hardware now supports development for about 80 billion devices that our ecosystem has already deployed. If you are writing software for a Cortex M based CPU, all the way through to development boards from partners like NXP and ST, or even a Raspberry Pi, you can now access those devices virtually in the cloud. No jumpers, no cables, no hardware farms. We are working across the ecosystem to integrate ARM Virtual Hardware directly into a broad set of modern development flows and ML services with partners like GitHub, Oracle, Kixo, and Edge Impulse. For traditional embedded developers, we have even integrated ARM virtual hardware into Kyle MDK. This is a game changer for how IoT and embedded software is developed. And finally, we have seen great progress with projects in Tori, including the first release of the Open IoT SDK framework which includes everything from voice and keyword recognition software used as part of our total solutions to the new OpenCMS's CDI specification that we are defining in partnership with the ecosystem. By defining how common services, things like over-the-air updates, are accessed, we are enabling software reuse and leverage for developers. We have invested and evolved ARM total solutions for IoT dramatically. More core stone designs, a broader ARM virtual hardware library, and better software reusability. And we have done it for a very simple reason. The Internet of Things, it runs on ARM. 